Since the Nigerian Senate passed the 2020 budget last week, after it was submitted by President Muhammad Buhari in October, it has been generating some concerns from, ex from experts in the financial sector. As revealed in the budget, a total sum of 2.7 trillion naira is expected to service debt, representing almost a quarter of the entire budget. Financial experts have, however, cons considered this worrisome as the debt service outgrows the projection for capital expenditure, and this, he said, is not good for the economy. The expert also urged the government to intensify its partnership with the private sector to assist in infrastructural development. We may not expect much of capital expenditure next year if our revenue does not improve dramatically. And there's nothing in the works to show that our revenue is going to increase so much because if you look at even the increase in VAT, the money will accrue mainly to the states and local governments. If you also look at the amendment of the deep offshore inland basins bill, not so much will come out of it. If it comes, it will still go to the federation account for sharing between the three tiers of government. Even the money is expected under the finance bill is not going to be dramatic. So, all in all, we may not see more than, if the weather is so good, we may not see more than the addition of 1 trillion naira into the coffers of the federal government. We have an infrastructure development master plan, which was supposed to run from 2014 to about 2040 territory. We've not activated the mechanisms in that master plan, which was supposed to raise funding through a combination of new policies, new policy measures, which the government will now use amendment of laws to put the private sector in the engine of infrastructure development. So budgetary funding or money you've got from DEBS was supposed to leverage, was supposed to be the, the money that will now make the private sector to come out, leverage their own money. So for every dollar that the federal government brought forward, the private sector was supposed to bring about 10, 11. So at the end of the day, you have more of public-private partnerships and citizens' commitment to building a new Nigeria. And we've not done that because there's a lot of lack of transparency and accountability in the way we are managing our fiscal governance. And of course, the necessary laws and policies have not been amended.